after this APEC Climate Symposium this year uh, is to challenge the uncertain future in uh, changing climate by using the climate information the best way. Some of conclusions uh, during the three days symposium was made that uh, we need to collaborate more and we need more connectivity and we need to work together to, to solve the problem that we are uh, facing that climate change, which is a uh, common cutting problem issue uh, for all, you know, yeah. all the economies in the It's very timely because it now gives us an opportunity to discuss how we can use best practices um, based on their technology, based on their experiences and, and use that to the local context to help us build our capacity. And so the symposium presents, uh, presented that opportunity. We've, we're now um, together with uh, the Science and Technology Authority and the uh, National Weather Office. We're trying to see how best we can uh, collaborate with uh, the APEC Climate Center to, with a view towards seeing how they can increase their presence in the region. I think the last few days was really important because of how science can, uh, you know, create opportunities for greater cooperation between uh, different economies uh, and exchanging that information in a way that will help to identify opportunities. And in this regard, when we uh, come together in this particular symposium, uh, we're able to bring together scientists, policy makers, to come to a point that uh, we need each other uh, to work together.